guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in on another fun tag. This one put out by Katie Flowers. I love all of Katie Flowers' videos. <sighs> and she created a hashtag called hashtag watching tarot too. She modified a hashtag that's already out there called hashtag uh, tarot booktube, something like that, or booktube, <laughs> or you booktube. <laughs> But she said uh, she wanted to create something that was more for the tarot community. There are 10 questions and I've been having fun watching everybody's responses. So let's jump into some of mine. Okay, the first question asks, how many channels am I personally subscribed to? Uh, I am subscribed to, I think it's like over 100 almost 200 channels um, but I've actually pared down some of my channels. I had to go back and like delete some channels uh, just because I just don't have time to be able to watch, you know, all the channels that I want to. So I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more manageable uh, to people that were more putting out videos uh, more regularly or uh, they were people who had a ton of awesome videos and maybe they haven't put out videos in a long time but I still wanted to be able to go back to their channel um, because I found a lot of their videos very informative. Um, so I kind of like did it like that but um, along, I would say like 90% of the channels I am subscribed to are like tarot and oracle and divination and witchcraft and things like that but uh, some of the other channels that I'm subscribed to are like photography channels and like a couple of makeup channels because I need help in like the makeup department <laughs> and then some are just like a couple of like vloggy uh, channels and um, like I like Shane Dawson and like you know like I like Jeffree Star and you know so some some, th some of them are not uh, tarot but it's very few most of them are. Question number two, when do I normally watch Tarot Tube? Um, I normally just watching, I will, I will, I'll put on a video and I'll set up my phone next to the sink while I do my dishes, like in the evening. Um, also like when I'm cleaning up the kitchen, you know, I'll be watching a uh, Tarot Tube, uh, all my fave Tarot Tubers. Um, also when I'm like cleaning up the house and things like that. Uh, sometimes I'm just listening, uh, other times if they're actually like, doing um things where you have it's very visual um you know then it's usually something where i'm doing something with my hands but i'm like watching you know <laughs> um sometimes i'm uh obviously not watching while i'm driving but listening while i'm driving like on my way home uh from work uh or if i have to travel a far distance so if somebody's just doing like a vlog or they're just you know having uh some some rambly stuff uh you know like uh kellyanne maddox i love to hear her talk and i love her ideas so sometimes i'll just put her on and i'll listen like while i'm in the car uh same thing with uh maybe kelly bear um so yeah it's it's just kind of like wherever i i have some time where i can multitask uh where i can do something and listen and or watch <laughs> Question number three, you gotta read it off my notes. Uh, how do you balance watching tarot tube, reading tarot, and making your own videos? So like I said, um, watching tarot tube is like while I'm multitasking doing something else, like cleaning the house, doing the dishes, um, out watering the yard, um, on my way home from work, um, you know, or driving someplace. Um, and reading tarot, uh, you know, usually if I'm just pulling cards for myself, I'll do that in the morning or I'll do that before bed. Uh, if I'm doing um, like readings for other people, uh, like paid readings, um, I do that usually as soon as I get home from work. You know, I get all my readings done, um, you know, go to the gym, all that good stuff. And then in the later in the evening is when I'm actually like cleaning up the house and I can, you know, watch other people's channels. Um, and then making my own videos, I, uh, I tend to make them in groups. So I'll make a few videos maybe like on a Saturday after my live chat, you know, I'll make some more videos on a Sunday. Um, and then I usually have enough videos to schedule kind of throughout the week because of Saturday and Sunday um, and then like if I need like a video or two more because I like to have uh, like six you know well uh, I, I always do my live chat on a Saturday so I usually have like five to six videos for the rest of the week you know excluding the live chat um, and so I'll you know if I, I'm, I need want to do like one or two more videos I'll kind of like as inspiration hits me uh, do that when I get home from school if there's time 
Question number four, is there a difference between videos I like watching and videos I like making? Um, I would say there is uh, because not everybody's um, like style of video or the topics they talk about is something that, you know, I guess would mesh with my personality to talk about, but I love watching their perspective and I love like watching their videos. Um, it's just not like the type of videos that I would make. Like um, Kellyanne Maddox, I love like watching her videos. I love her getting like into like the, the human psyche. I like her being able to like connect tarot to, um, you know, helping uh, oneself out of our own like human condition. I like, you know, her connecting it to psychology and really diving into that. And she's like really good at it. Like that's her specialty and you know, that's her job. You know, she's a counselor. Um, I find that fascinating. Do I think I would be able to make a video as good as her no so I probably would refrain from doing that because there's already somebody who's really excellent at it and I don't think that I would contribute anything new or anything better so um, when it comes to me making videos if I feel like I can contribute to a conversation um, or I can offer like a new perspective on something like I'll make a video on it but if I think that somebody's already doing like like a bunch of people have already like you know <laughs> like put a topic to rest or they've already explained how to do something really well um, then I won't contribute because I don't think I have anything to to give to a conversation that's that's already like you know awesome <laughs> you know okay question number five who was the first tarot tuber that I subscribed to and do I still watch them um, I think okay it was it's either one one or the other it was either Vix from New Age Hipster or Ethany um, so I may have subscribed to them both at the same time um, but if we go to like the way back like back when I was like just like really like starting to take tarot more seriously and really making it a part of a, like my study um, it may have been Vix of New Age Hipster and then it may have been Ethany but again it may have been both of them at the same time but it doesn't matter. I still watch them both. I still love them so much. I still um, think they have so much to offer. Um, Ethany uh, is doing her um, her tarot summer school, um, so she hasn't made like tons of videos, um, you know, because she is busy busy with so many other things she's like you know made decks she's making a book you know she's she's one busy woman and i really admire her and i admire her perspective on a lot of things so i absolutely love still watching ethany um vix uh has taken a back seat to making her videos because she's doing more with uh her uh circle it's like um like a witchy kind of circle that she does uh, but they work on like a lot of self-care and there's different topics that they work on and so it's like a little membership that you can do so I know she's working on that I know that she was a part of I think uh, Ethany's tarot summer school again this year um, you know and she's got all sorts of other like side projects that she's doing she's she's also another really busy person so if she jumps on to make a video it's usually for the monthly reading um, and maybe once in a while like an um, unboxing or a re or a review of a deck um, but still you know if she makes a mid video like I'm all over it I will watch Vix's videos okay question number six was who is the most recent tarot tuber that you have subscribed to um, I, I've actually subscribed to a bunch of channels uh, but not all of them are tarot tubes so I had to kind of go back and like you know uh, how you can look on your your channels page to see oh like um, Tara has subscribed to do, 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 do. and I was like oh you know so I had to go back I was like okay that's not tarot that's not tarot that's photography do, 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 do. <laughs> and then I found um, I guess the most recent one was Brian Cormac Carr um, BCC um, because I <laughs> I had lo like I love watching his videos. I still love watching his videos and he's he's doing like series now and stuff like that, which is awesome. Um but I realized I wasn't subscribed to his channel because uh, I was like I was like, "Why? You know, isn't he jumping up in my feed?" Oh, because I hadn't subscribed. <laughs> so I went back and subscribed. So even though I was watching him like a while back, um I had only like maybe recently subscribed as in recently like maybe a month or two ago maybe it was a couple months ago um yeah even though i was watching him before that just 
because sometimes I forget to subscribe to people. Like I really like watching their videos and I search for them to watch their videos. And then I'm like, why aren't they in my feed? Oh, because I haven't subscribed. <laughs> okay, question number seven, share an old favorite tarot tuber. Um, so I kind of already mentioned Vix from New Age Hipster and Ethany. Uh, so there's so many others. Like if we go back, like, um, I had subscribed to Tiptoe Chick. I had subscribed to, um, Avalon Cameron. Um, I had subscribed to Alvine. Um, there are so many. So, um, I guess, you know, an, an old fave, I mean, not old as an age technically, but, um, old as in like, homegirl from the way back <laughs> and that would be Avalon Cameron because I I love just like listening to her talk I love her perspective I love her fiery energy I love her just upfrontness and this is who I am and if you don't like it then you know bugger off kind of thing um so yeah I I like her I admire her I like her drive I like her spirit I like her view uh, on tarot and the world and everything witchy um yeah, so she's she's a totally cool chick and she's she's still one of my faves. Okay, question number eight is share a new fave tarot tuber. So um, I had mentioned the channel that I like had recently subscribed to, but that it, it wasn't like anybody like new yet. <laughs> I mean, because like I subscribed later, uh, you know, Brian Cormick Carr. Um, so I would say that somebody that I have started binge watching probably in the past couple of months is the Woodland Hag. Um, I think that she's totally awesome. I think she's really sweet. I love her accent. <laughs> um, and right now she's doing, um, like it's a series um, kind of like, uh, she goes into, it's kind of like a forest in her area. Um, and she's uh, like doing scrying with sticks and things like that. And like, it's it's so witchy and it's so awesome. So um, I'm having fun uh, following her. And I think she's made like one or two tags. Um, but I just like, you know, hearing her, her thoughts on tarot and topics and uh, certain decks and things like that. So I would say my um, current fave binge watch is the Woodland Hag. Question number nine, one of my tarot pet peeves or my tarot tube pet peeves. Um, well, I guess if anybody, I guess was like peeving me or like getting on my nerves, like, you know, watching their videos, I probably just wouldn't watch their videos and I probably would unsubscribe. Um, but, uh, I guess, you know, what would cause me to unsubscribe to somebody is if somebody was, um, bashing someone else for their ideas like their ideas are wrong like how how dare you read tarot like that you know like there's only one way and you know so if anybody was like bashing someone else I probably um would well I would unsubscribe and you know I just wouldn't watch their videos because that gets on my nerves um I don't like when you know because it's all about like trying to raise people up I mean we can have like you know, constructive criticism and conversations. Uh, but I think when you just tear somebody apart and you start just, um, it's not even about how they read tarot anymore and you just start picking them apart. Like, I don't like how you do your hair and I don't like your face. Like that's, you know, then, and then it starts going into trollish territory and I have no patience for trolls. Just like in the classroom, I have no patience for kids picking on other kids. Like to me, that's like bullying and I have no patience for bullying. Um, when it comes to deck reviews, again, constructive criticism of a deck, like, oh, you know, I didn't really like the cardstock, you know, this image, maybe I didn't like so much, but I like these other images. But if somebody goes on for the sole purpose of just tearing the deck apart and not finding one positive quality, it's like, why do you have that deck? And why are you, it's, that's not a review. That's just a tearing apart of somebody's deck, uh, somebody's creation. So no patience for that. Other than that, I'm like pretty chill and I don't think I really have any other like pet peeves. Just like don't tear people apart, don't tear, tear people's art forms apart. And then we're cool. <laughs> and the final question, question number 10. What have I learned from watching other tarot tubers? 
I've learned a lot. Like the whole reason I jumped on uh, YouTube before I started making my own videos was to watch and learn. Like I wanted to know, like I was like a sponge and I still am. Like I wanted to know as much as I could about tarot and it was like, oh, there's different systems. There's uh, like some Marseille systems and there's Rider Waite Smith and then there's something that's not Rider Waite Smith. It's just the Rider Waite and oh my gosh. And <laughs> you know, and then there's, um, you know, and then we got this dude Alistair Crowley and we he's he, he's got stuff going on in decks and I'm just like whoa like just blown away and so I had learned so much about the esoteric and about symbolism and the elements and alchemy and um and and just you know just there's just so much to tarot and uh also what I got from it is that um not everybody reads tarot the same some people are more into the alchemical forms of tarot and like reading it that way some people um you know are more intuitive some people just look at certain symbols within the tarot some people you know uh, focus more on the astrological aspects of tarot and i think that's awesome you know so that i didn't feel like oh like if i don't do it exactly this way like i feel like i'm doing it wrong you know i think that would have put me off and um and I would have had not had the confidence that I do now when I read tarot you know that it's like oh, okay everybody kind of reads it a little bit differently yes there's like some you know meanings and I could definitely take in those meanings and um, and I just like uh, yeah I like how um, a lot of people were just free to be themselves here on YouTube and that helped me you know kind of make my channel what it is now whereas at the beginning I was like like how am I supposed to do YouTube like you know and since I, I, you know, do photography, you know, I do some professional photography every now and then. I had set up like my photography lights for a while. So like the lighting was always perfect. Um, I mean, I am trying to wear a little bit more makeup now, but I would like just do a face full of makeup, even though I don't really know how. <laughs> Cause I thought like you had to like look perfect on camera. Like, you know, not that I'm trying to look like a scrub, you know, here on the internet, but <laughs> um, I feel free to be a lot more me you know like if I just don't feel like wearing makeup which I'm not a total makeup person I'm honest about it um I don't feel like I have to like get my hair did like if I my personality is to throw it up in a clip like I do like that's what I do um yeah so if anything a uh, tarot tube um helped me find my tribe it helped me to be more confident in my reading skills um, it helped me to make a lot of really awesome friends. It helped me to find, um, well, helped me to find a little bit more about the side of myself uh, and to be more open about it and to be who I am now. So who I am now is in thanks to a large part because of you guys. So yeah. And that's it, you spiritual homies. Thank you so much, Katie Flowers, for coming up with this hashtag watching tarot tube. And if you haven't done this VR, I highly encourage you to do this because I think this is so fun and I've had fun watching all the other uh, VRs to Katie Flowers on this particular tag. And if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have a lot of different reading styles. Um, you choose the one that best fits your personality. And... Don't forget to join that tribe, that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweights and tarot. Uh, I have a lot of really awesome supporters there uh, who are helping to uh, build the content on my channel. They help me with my channel. They help me with my business. Um, they help me, you know, make, uh, you know, more uh, higher quality items for my Etsy shop uh, because of their contributions. And um, I recently just showed off uh, during my live chat some of my Oracle deck that I'm working on. And so my peeps there are helping me to get that off the ground, but I definitely need more support. And if you join, you can join for as low as $1 a month. You know, so if you really enjoy, you know, seeing what I do and um, everything that I do here with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and you think that's worth at least a dollar a month, then head over to Patreon. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of them. And let's get that deck off the ground. I'm so excited. So that's it for me, you spiritual homies. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. And don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And I'll catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out!